I'm Chewy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a lamb kebab burger. There's no need to stumble home drunk at 2am looking for a kebab shop to make this meal. I don't know why we keep filming it. I don't use it. It kind of sets the tone for the day, though. It does. So we already know it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> so just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. I popped into Gippsland Premium Meats earlier this week and they had some lamb burger patties ready to go. They had feta cheese and spinach in them. The first thing I thought of was, yum. Then I thought of you people and I thought you might want to try them. So I grabbed some lamb mince from them and some feta cheese and some spinach from the supermarket. Now the spinach was frozen, so let it thaw out so you can chop it up. Or don't, if you like a challenge. So all you need to do is crumble up that feta cheese. So we're just gonna pop all of that into a bowl and adding some lemon pepper and some salt. Yes. <clears throat> and then just mix it all up. By all means, if you live in South East Mill, I'll get it, don't worry. Take 468. By all means, get yeah. this done today. Try. <laughs> I'm trying. By all means, if you live in South East Melbourne, drop out. <sighs> drop out the plane. <laughs> Parachute in. <laughs> Woohoo. By all means, if you live in South East Melbourne, drop in and see Mick and the team out at Gippsland Premium Meats. The hard work's already done for you. They have these sitting there ready to go. Say fuck woo! So we now need to weigh these into 150 gram balls. And then just shape them into burger sized patties ready for smoking. Oh yeah, did I mention we're smoking these bad boys today? Today I'm going to be using a 57 centimetre Weber kettle and I'm going to be setting it up with dual cooking zones. So I want to be cooking at 160 degrees Celsius today. And how I'll do that is I'm going to utilise one charcoal basket and I'm going to fill it up with heat beads briquettes. And the reason I do that is that that way I'm measuring out exactly how much charcoal briquettes I need for the cook. Just dump them into a chimney starter and light them up. And once they're fully ashed over, we're going to dump them into a charcoal basket on one side of the charcoal grate. And we're just going to add one chunk of cherry wood. Next up, put the grill in place and put the lid on, making sure all the vents are wide open. And we're going to leave that 10 minutes to warm up. Now you can monitor the temps by attaching an ambient temp probe to the grill and as you get close to your target temp, slowly close down those bowl vents. I, on the other hand, aren't using an ambient temp probe because I'm a rebel. Now that the web is warmed up, we can pop the burger patties onto the grill. So we just want to pop the burger patties on the opposite side of our lit fuel and pop the lid back on, making sure the lid vents on the opposite side of our lit fuel and that's going to draw our smoke and our heat across our burgers. This would be a great time to subscribe to the channel. While you're there, hit that bell button. That bell button is going to allow you to be notified every time I make burgers. Today, I'm cooking with a medium indirect heat of 160 degrees Celsius. And these lamb burgers are only going to take 45 minutes to reach a food safe eating temp of 71 degrees Celsius. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer cook. This would be a perfect time to go and like this video. While you're there, share it with a mate get them to cook it for you. We'll need a few other ingredients for these burgers, like some bread rolls sliced in half and some kebab staples like crispy lettuce, sliced tomato, sliced onion, and some tzatziki sauce. Then just slather all the buns with some sauce, then top with lettuce and some tomato and some onion. Now we just need to check the burgers with an instant read thermometer. And they're done. I suggest using an instant read thermometer. You can try your finger, but it's not that accurate. So we can get them off the heat and we can finish making our kebab burgers. So now we just pop the lid on and it couldn't be any easier than that. Well, it could be. You could get someone else to make them for you. These are so quick and tasty. They are gonna be the hit at your next barbecue or your next late night drinking session. Oh, come on, you know I'm gonna say it. These are that good, they should be illegal. Mmm. As always, cheers for watching. 